my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, feeling pretty terrible this morning. Um, so there's a load of loud noises outside this morning. I don't know whether it was the bin men, the cleaners or somebody just coming in and out of the bin store. But I, I, I again was woken up about 6.30 in the morning, but it was noises from outside. Um, I decided that I would ring my doctor's surgery this morning because um, the pain was quite bad. So basically, first thing this morning, I phoned my doctor's surgery. I was 30 plus in the phone queue, over 30 people waiting on the phone to get through to the doctor's surgery. That's what it said. I attempted to ring the phone surgery dead on eight o'clock, but my phone kept cutting off saying the line was busy. So eventually I got down to number one. Uh, a young lady answered the phone receptionist and told me that the, she asked me my name and my date of birth and then she said the phone number had changed. <laughs> the phone number had changed. So I then rang Maritime Health and I'm waiting now in, a, in another queue which is going to call me back. So I, I, I know I'm not going to get a doctor's appointment today. I know that. I know that full well. So I shall ring again tomorrow and to see what happens but I'm just you know this is this is life they want you to go online uh, now and um, get your symptoms online to save the phone lines being bunged up but some people haven't got access to the internet and I haven't got a laptop I've just got a broken mobile phone <laughs> So it's really difficult at the moment, 30 plus in the queue, dead on 8 o'clock, um, I don't know what to say, um, the only other option is to ring 111 if it gets worse, um, it's just um, a general feeling of being unwell, I've got aches and pains all over my body, they're everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, I just feel genuinely unwell and I've got my usual pain in the face which has got worse I stabbing with pain in the face and my ear feels like it's infected I've got cotton wool in this ear it does feel like it's infected so I'll wait patiently I've blown some balloons up to pop later Alexa What's the time, please? It's 8.43 a.m. And Alexa, what's the date today? It's Monday the 29th of November. So at the moment, I've, the bin store's banging now really loudly. Somebody's going in and out of the bins and the, the door just bangs shut. So I've waited over half an hour to get through to one doctor's surgery and noise aggravates my face doesn't it so that's going on so someone's banging out there and i just phoned the other number and no one's got back to me yet um i don't feel very well okay i don't i just want to sit indoors and rest and try and get better I don't want to have arguments with anybody, I don't want to shout and I don't want to get angry but th this is what used to go on in Chatham and I used to like try and stay in bed and it's impossible to stay in bed in a place like this because it's on a builder site and it's very very noisy down here so you can't lie down and rest, not unless you have the telly up full blast or the radio on and I've got earache. So that's extremely difficult. Alexa, can you put LBC Radio on, please? LBC London is a global player. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a week to live on. Well, okay, again. Actually, France, believe it or not, gives them a little bit more. 
we give them at around thirty eight pounds fifty france gives them the equivalent of forty three pounds i think it was eighty five pounds you live in a hostel or a hotel room you're absolutely right i don't know whether that's actually that sensational but what you get again i say if you come to the uk and i hope this doesn't cause offence you can disappear into the black market you're working in that nail bar you're working at that car wash in a way you cannot in countries such as france and germany now i do think that is something to be addressed because if i decided i want to start a new life well not on my age if i was a young man i wanted to start a new life i'm going to go to a country where i understand what people are saying to me and where i can avail myself of work enjoy our conversation we've got to move on late to the news also coming up after the news uh, speaking with me last month joining us again former peer gordon brown unless we get vaccines to the countries that don't have them at the moment then the disease will spread it will mutate. We may think it's not going to hit us, but it will come back in new variants and it will hit even the fully vaccinated in Britain. And this, of course, in the light of the Omicron development, Gordon Brown just coming up. 8.45, there'll be seen news headlines. Thomas Watts. Government advisers are expected to announce a decision on expanding the coronavirus booster programme. The Scottish Government has confirmed the discovery of six cases of the new Omicron strain. A teenager has been charged with the murder of a 12-year-old girl in Liverpool. LBC weather, cloudy for most parts of the UK, chilly and dry in the south, milder in northern areas, a high of 11 Celsius. LBC Travel, I'm Anne-Marie Walsh on the westbound A13 in Dagenham. It's slow towards the Gorsbrook Interchange following an accident on the entry slip road. And delays on the A40 eastbound in Axel is queuing towards a brake cell that's near to Gypsy Corner. In Holloway, water may has burst on Isleton Road southbound after Finsbury Park Station. Approach the area with care. And in Palmer's Green on the north circular, it's slow both ways on the approach to Brownlow Road. On the trains, Thameslink and East Midlands Railway have delays of up to 20 minutes between St Pancras International and Luton. This is Alexa, LBC. Stop. So, Alexa, what's the weather like today? Currently, in Rochester, it's minus one degree Celsius with partly sunny skies. You can expect more of the same today, with a high of four degrees and a low of minus one degrees. Minus one degrees here in Rochester. It is freezing cold outside. I put two coats on. It's very, very cold around the riverside near the water. Um, I'm still going to attempt to take Max out for a walk even though I feel really terrible. But I should put a scarf around my face and a hat on my head. Um, it's just a really, really, really cold. It's got really, really badly cold all of a sudden. And of course it's going to bring on things, isn't it? It's going to make pain feel worse though. Something you've just got to get used to. So I'm going to pop some balloons in a moment. Last night I went for a walk around the riverside, nothing remarkable. I didn't take a phone call, walked past the co-op and, you know, giggling, laughing. Pain is not funny. It's excruciating and, and it is terrible. It's certainly not funny. Um, but obviously people laugh, people laugh it jokes and they laugh at each other but when you walk past and you feel like in a terrible state it, it doesn't make you feel better if you know what I mean but I'm trying to persevere with this um, so there was a couple on the field last night walking a dog with a flashing red collar I had car lights the new car headlights are really, really bright and they blind people. I, I, I don't know how other drivers drive into these new car lights, which are really, really strong. Because I was just walking down the road going towards my flat and um, I stared into these really bright white car headlights and it almost blinded me as I was trying to walk home. When I went round the back way, um, yesterday evening a car sped round the corner as I was walking in the road uh, you've just got to be careful um, because when car headlights come on coming um, come in front of your eyes like that you could be blinded for a few seconds and get knocked over also there was a really long traffic queue uh, yesterday Sunday with cars piling up down the road, right from the top to the bottom of the road where I live. And I was seeing the number plates, E-W-E-U, which 
picture, it's like a ram, isn't it, EWU? I've seen all these BJ, these number plates, 69 BJ, EWE for you, while all that noise was going on upstairs yesterday. Right, and then I walked past a flat by the riverside, one of those posh houses ones, and there's a great big Santa and a great big snowman, and I could see a couple, but a young woman with a bun in her hair and glasses, and a man with black hair smiling at each other through the window. Of course, I'm old, right? But, you know, I don't mind being by myself. I've got the dog to keep me company. See you later. <laughs>